At 7 o'clock, a group of people met up at the point in El Segundo to prepare for the cruise. It's funny because this was all put together through Instagram. Not many of us have seen each other, we just know each other from Instagram and our pages. It just shows you the power of social media and how people with like-minded interests can come together just through a platform. Once everyone arrived, it was time to head up to Gora Hills east of Malibu where the Cars and Coffee took place, held by Malibu Audubon. This is not their first event. They've had previous events before, but this was my first Malibu Audubon experience. On the way there, it was probably one of the most exhilarating moments I've had with us just cruising through the highway up north, going pretty fast. I don't know if they do this often, but the cops played some tricks on us, leaving a car out on the street, empty, so it could just scare us, the drivers. We arrived just in time at Wizard Market Square, and by the time we got there, there were already couple of the cars and groups waiting in line to enter the plaza. Now the location for the cars and coffee is surrounded by the mountains. So at 8 o'clock in the morning with low clouds and fog everywhere, it just looked something straight out of a movie. Galpin Aston Martin was one of the sponsors for Malibu Autobahn, so the new Vantage Roadster made its West Coast debut at the event. As time went by, more and more cars started to show up and with over 600 RSVPs for the event, the parking lot started to get full. Usually a Cars and Coffee has one specific niche of cars but Malibu Autobahn's Cars and Coffee was a bit more diverse. Array from BMWs, exotics, American muscle cars, and some really, really clean custom builds. This event was just for car enthusiasts, not just exotics, not just American, not just BMWs. This was just for car enthusiasts. Okay, just a cruise, it's not a race. It's just a way to enjoy the car community and the beautiful roads we have around here. But please, uh, drive I'm, responsibly. I'm warming I up. Not emphasize enough. Once it was 10 o'clock, it was time to go on a cruise again to Beachside Malibu. <laughs> This was what made the event stand out, a cruise to another location. Now, we weren't able to really test the limits of the cars since we had police escorts, but it was nice to enjoy the view driving through the mountains towards Malibu. I was a part of the smaller group 
on the quickest route to the location while everyone else took the longer way around to sort of drive a bit more but we had a Lamborghini SVJ a part of our group After going to so many events and just seeing the car still, you sort of get bored of it. It just becomes so familiar to you because you see basically the same car over and over again, in the same position, just still. But when you see a car on the road next to you, it's a completely different experience. The wind coming across you, you could hear the exhaust no, going through tunnels, it's a whole, whole different experience and something that I really need to get more of. Since our group took the fastest route, we were ahead of the main pack by a lot, but everything turned out as best as it could be because there was a Porsche singer on a photo shoot at the same location. Talk about timing. This has got to be one of the best Porsche singers I've seen. And with the backdrop of the Malibu beach side, it just works so well. The car was just beautiful. Color of it with the location, I don't think there could have been a better car at that location. In conclusion, I think what Malibu Audubon has done sort of changed the whole game for Cars and Coffee. I think other cars and coffee should really look at this as an example of how something as small as this could really change the whole event experience. It's not just about going to a single location, dropping off your car, getting a cup of coffee, and going back home. You should be able to enjoy the environment, the surroundings, the nature, the people, the sound and smells you get from being around all these cars. That should be the main focus of the cars and coffee. Malibu Audubon has done something that really changed the whole car event, car show experience for me and I wish I see more of these coming in the future. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment down below what your thoughts on this whole new cruise to cruise type of event if you like it if you want to see more of it if you want other car and coffees do something like this leave that in the comments down below also i have photos of the event that i'm gonna add to my website so click that in the link below if you guys want to see some photos of the singer especially and some other cars that were at the event. Well, that's it for today. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Subscribe if you want to see more kind of videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one.